What sets Tom Barry apart as a combat commander is his attitude towards leading men and towards battle and towards death and killing. This was the only fighting that suited people facing one of the greatest empires in the world. But countrywide, ammunition was low and both sides were now hoping for a ceasefire. Collins called Barry to Dublin to help assess the IRA strength for himself and de Valera. On his way back to West Cork, Barry was held up by the Essex Regiment near Bandon. Don't you bloody move! Don't move! Get him! What's your name? Ted Ryder, sir. I'm a medical student. I'm going home to Crookstown, sir. Posing as a medical student, he came face to face with his nemesis, Major A. E. Percival, officer commanding of the Essex Regiment. This is a student, sir. I see. Percival in Bandon, he was a ruthless killer of captured, unarmed IRA men. Release him. Clear off. It was one of many close calls for Barry. The British had rounded up a lot of IRA prisoners who were awaiting court martial at this time. We had enough of our men being murdered and when on arms especially, we didn't mind men being killed in action. At the end of October, Barry and Brigade OC Charlie Hurley decided to assassinate a Judge Seely who'd been particularly hard on IRA prisoners. They took up positions outside his hotel room at bedtime. But it wasn't the judge who appeared at the window. 